Hi guys, Kevin here. Thank you for joining me. This is the visual I'm going to show you today. This one is called Luminance and it's created in like 18 to 20 hours or something. I thought it would be cool to show you how it's made and what my layer palette looks like. All right, step one. I started with a stock photo, which I bought on Shutterstock. Then I had to mask her out the background by using the brush tool in quick mask mode, which you can enter by pressing Q for those who didn't know. For a good quality mask, I zoom in like this and try to match the hardness of the brush with the edge of the model. If I come across any hairs or other things that are impossible to mask by hand, I use the select and mask option. Once masked without hair, I use my watercolor brushes to remove parts of her back. The hair is done on a separate layer as you can see, and the blending mode is set to multiply. This only works when the background is already white. All right, let's take a look at the background now. I'm just going to turn some layers on and off so you can see what happens. Let's jump back to the model and also turn on the remaining layers. The next step is adding the watercolor brush strokes. Because the watercolor paper is white, I had to invert the layers so the background becomes dark and the paint light. That way I can use them on screen mode. This is what the raw input looks like. It's really fun to play around with it. Next up are the light effects I created in Cinema 4D. I could easily use these on screen mode because I rendered them on black. Might do a tutorial about those light effects on this channel. Now it's finally taking shape. I thought it looked a little bit better with the cooler grading though. For the color grading I usually combine several color balance and gradient map layers together. And for the contrast I use different curve adjustments. What I did next is make a copy merge on top of all layers and convert that layer to a smart object. I use this layer to make a vignette effect with the camera raw filter. This is in my opinion the best way to create a vignette without any bending in it. In a separate video I'll show you how to do this without merging everything first. On top of that I added another set of color grading adjustments because I wasn't satisfied yet. Now 
Then I merged everything again and added some clarity with the camera raw filter. Unfortunately, there is not yet a way to do this without merging everything first. You can see on top I've made a grain layer. I do this to make everything look more realistic and it will also remove some of the bending in the adjustment layers. Alright, now that we have reached the end, let's do a quick before or after. By the way, this visual was featured in a couple of cool creative magazines. Check this out. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you liked this quick walkthrough. I'm planning to make separate videos about some of the techniques I used here. If you're interested, feel free to subscribe. Alright, speak to you later on social media guys. Take care.